Hey guys, today I'm going to make a video on Olympus DAO, an algorithmic currency protocol. If you enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe. One of the problems we have today is that we still don't have an independently valued digital currency in crypto. The solution we came up with is a stablecoin, and there's three categories each fit into. We have fiat collateralized stablecoins such as Tether. We also have crypto collateralized stablecoins like DAI, which are backed by crypto assets like ETH. And finally, we have algorithmic stablecoins, which are non-collateralized like Basis Cash or Ampleforth. This means that the most used cryptocurrency is the digitized dollar. It has stable USD value, but an unstable purchasing power. And as the Federal Reserve prints more US dollars, it devalues your stablecoin. What we need is a currency not pegged to the value of the dollar that sits natively in this crypto world that others can come to rely on. And that's where Olympus DAO comes in. With Olympus DAO, each OHM token is backed by one die in the treasury. Tokens are minted and burned by the protocol in response to price. When OHM trades below one die, the protocol buys back and burns OHM. And when OHM trades above one die, the protocol mints and sells new OHM. This means because the treasury must hold one die and one die free each OHM, every time it buys or sells, it makes a profit. In other words, the Olympus Dow treasury gets more than one die for the sale or spent less than one die on the purchase. This gives Olympus Dow several advantages. The first is that since the protocol holds die for each token, OHM will not trade below its intrinsic value in the long term and this will give people confidence in OHM since it's backed by real assets in the treasury. The second advantage is that holding DAI to back OHM also creates a yield generation opportunity. Most DAI can be shifted to yield aggregators and this adds additional profits from buying and selling OHM. One of the disadvantages of this system, as pointed out in the Block Crunch podcast, is that the market cap of OHM is 99 million today versus a much smaller value in the treasury. The response to this is that the market value of OHM can change, but the underlying value of it is constant, now and forever. For the initial profit distribution, the team created unique incentives to bootstrap the success of this system. 90% goes to stakers and 10% to the DAO, which can be modified. Rewards are paid in OHM backed by DAI. This means Olympus DAO maintains stable intrinsic value, favoring accumulation over appreciation like with real currency. The team was founded by Zeus and Apollo. Zeus does a lot of the economic design and Apollo is the core developer behind the project. All right, so you might be wondering how you can play this game. The simplest method I recommend is to buy and stake OHM on the Olympus DAO website, which I'll show you in a minute. Another alternative you can opt for is to buy OHM, then provide it to the sushi pool as liquidity and then bond the LP token. Just to recap, Olympus DAO is backed by assets, it's algorithmically managed and community governed. Alright, so on the Olympus DAO app, they offer a dashboard with several analytic charts including total value locked, market value of the treasury, risk-free value of the treasury, and protocol-owned liquidity versus total liquidity. You can also see OHM staked versus not staked, which is pretty important. Most OHM is staked because you can earn a ton of OHM at this time. You can also see the runway available. I recommend staking all your OHM to earn the highest APY. OHM is a long-term bet not a short-term speculative play. The current APY is insanely high. You can also buy a bond um, for OHM from the protocol at a discount. And this is the staking portal um, for LPs if you're interested in participating. And finally, if you want to reclaim your alpha OHM tokens, you can go to this last section. 
there's a couple of things that you should consider for this project. The first is that Olympus DAO absolutely does have competition from other teams, such as Float Protocol and Rai. To me, this isn't a negative, but a positive, validating that there's a market for this crazy idea in the first place. The second is usability. Right now, OHM is not that useful in DeFi because everything is denominated in stablecoins. This is by design, and that leads me to my last point that I said earlier. OHM is a long-term play. Yes, you can get crazy high returns now, but the real value doesn't come in this bull market. It comes in three to four years from now when the next bull cycle starts and you see the accumulation of years of OHM staking. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this content. Uh, please make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.